today. So now let's get to the main event. I chuckled when I saw this. <laughs> hmm. But before we get to that, <laughs> I want to go back to 1991, when Apple, Apple announced and shipped its first PowerBooks. This was the first modern laptop computer. Apple actually invented the modern laptop computer with these PowerBooks. It was the first laptop that had a TFT screen, the first modern LCD screens. It was the first laptop that pushed the keyboard up, creating palm rests, and had an integrated pointing device, in this case, a trackball. Well, of course, almost 20 years later, we've got incredible laptops now. Just a few years ago, in 2007, Apple reinvented the phone with the iPhone. And a few years later, we've got the great iPhone 3GS, the best phone in the world. And so all of us use laptops and smartphones now. Everybody uses a laptop and or a smartphone. And the question has arisen lately, is there room for a third category of device in the middle? Something that's between a laptop and a smartphone. And of course, we've pondered this question for years as well. The bar is pretty high. In order to really create a new category of devices, those devices are going to have to be far better at doing some key tasks. They're going to have to be far better at doing some really important things, better than the laptop, better than the smartphone. What kind of tasks? Well, things like browsing the web. That's a pretty tall order. Something that's better at browsing the web than a laptop? OK. Doing email. Enjoying and sharing photographs. Video, watching videos. Enjoying your music collection. Playing games. Reading ebooks. If there's going to be a third category of device, it's going to have to be better at these kinds of tasks than a laptop or a smartphone. Otherwise, it has no reason for being. Now, some people have thought, but that's a netbook. The problem is, netbooks aren't better at anything. <laughs> they, they're slow, they have low quality displays, and they run clunky old PC software. So they're not better than a laptop at anything. They're just cheaper. They're just cheap laptops. And we don't think that they're a third category device. But we think we've got something that is. And we'd like to show it to you today for the first time. And we call it the iPad. So let me show it to you now. This is what it looks like. I happen to have one right here. That's what it looks like. Very thin. It's just like this. So, just give you a little overview. It's very thin. And you can uh, change the background screen, the home screen, to personalize it any way you want. People put their own photos on it, I'm sure, but we ship a few, and you can make it anything you want. And what this device does is extraordinary. You can browse the web with it. It is the best browsing experience you've ever had. It's phenomenal to see a whole web page right in front of you and you can manipulate with your fingers. It's unbelievably great. Way better than a laptop. Way better than a smartphone. And you can turn iPad any way you want. Up, down, sideways, it automatically adjusts however you want to use it. And again, to see the whole web page 
is phenomenal. Right there, holding the internet in your hands. It's an incredible experience. Phenomenal for mail. You want to focus in on a message? You can do that. See your inbox. Again, just turn iPad sideways. Get a different view on your mail. Push the Compose window. A keyboard pops up that's almost life size. It's a dream to type on. For photos, your albums are shown as stacks of photos, your albums are events. You can unfold them, look at all your photos, flick through them. Got some great slideshows built in. It's a wonderful way to share your photos with friends and family. Built in a calendar. You can see your month's activities or your day's activities and everything in between. Built in a great address book for your contacts. Have a great maps application, which works with Google's back end. Show you maps, satellite views, zoom in on things. iPad is an awesome way to enjoy your music collection. And of course, we have the iTunes Store. Built right into the iPad, so you can discover music, you can purchase it, movies, TV shows, podcasts, iTunes University, everything built right into the iPad. YouTube, you can watch YouTube on it, including YouTube in high def now. They've got a lot of high def video. And of course, it's awesome to watch TV shows and movies on. So that gives you a little overview of what the iPad can do. But it's nothing like seeing it. So I'd love to show it to you now. Let's take a look at it. 